Ready for another makeup tutorial by me, the completely uncertified makeup artist? I'm also nude because sex sells, but I'm not showing anything because my mom's probably watching. You're only gonna need 10 different brushes and a shit ton of other stuff by color correcting because your skin color is always wrong. Everywhere that I put a dot is somewhere that's a flaw. Color correct the color correction with foundation. Now we're blending. This is an obvious step, but for some reason always included. You set your foundation with powder. <coughs> I'm looking so dimensional already. Two brows, three products. Eyeliner. This is actually a skill that can't be taught, so good luck, I guess. Perfect. Your lashes probably won't look exactly like this because I was blessed with East Indian jeans. Lashes, I have a special trick where I actually use an eyeshadow. This, of course, is a trick I learned from somebody else's YouTube video. Having really white teeth helps with a good lip color, so, um, y'all better get on that. Oh, God. There you have it. So it would be easier if you had my exact same face, but whatever. I can't believe we've never carpooled together before. I know. Like to remind your followers that you're still talented. Choose a well-known but easy to sing song. If you forgot how to play piano, just go to YouTube and relearn the chords. Hold the e flat major, e flat G, B flat. Okay, okay. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. E flat major, E flat G, F flat. You only have to learn about 20 seconds of the song. Why aren't you loading? Go ahead and find the right angle that works for you. It's usually better if your face is mostly cut off. Slow your song way down. It makes it sound artsy and leaves a lot of wiggle room for mistakes. You don't judge me. Express yourself with your hands. I would judge you too. Don't forget to add hashtags and watch the likes roll in. I got issues, you got them too. Coming up on America's Most Unfortunate, two local friends set out to complete a normal task when suddenly the unthinkable happened. Forgetting which side your gas tank is on is widely known as failure. So you were the victim in this situation. What do you have to say? I'm embarrassed. Honestly, I feel like I failed. Has she done this before? <sighs> Not that I've seen, no. No amount of support could rectify the abomination. I guess it could happen to anybody, but you always think that it won't be somebody that you know. I feel like I let my friend down. I feel like I let my mom and my dad down, like... I mean, it's definitely harder for her and her family, for sure. I realize that. An unknown bystander also witnessed the atrocity. You were just walking by. It was a normal day for you. Yeah. I know I walk past that gas station a lot. I see it pretty often. Are you affected by it anymore? kind of get numb to it after a while. You just kind of walk by, shake your head, and move on with your day. What do you have to say to the people who say, it won't happen to me? Um, that it can? I think there's um, a recovery period that is going to be necessary, but I just want her to know that I love her and I support her, and I really am here for her no matter what. She knows. Will this victim of inconvenience survive? Find out after the break.
get going though. Okay, I'll just get the check. Okay, great. Don't do that. You don't have to do that. The server is a human being too. Like, all you have to do is say, may we get the check. It's very disrespectful what you just did. Oh, sorry, no. It's okay. Oh, actually, uh, while you're here, do you mind if I get a to-go box? And then could you just clear these plates out of the way? And I would like a to-go cup if you have one. And actually, I'm gonna also need a change for a 20 if you have that, maybe singles and fives. And can we also get our parking validated, like if you have a little stamp? And when you bring the boxes, could you also bring a bag because you're gonna need